Hi guys, this is Lucky Luke for Float the Turn. And I'd like to speak to you today about understanding tilt. Many of you may know if you've watched my webinars and seen some of my videos that as well as focusing on strategy and in-depth hand history review, I do like to discuss the psychological aspects of the game. I come from a background in teaching. My background is in philosophy and psychology. Amongst other subjects, I've taught these quite extensively. And I often find myself reflecting on the fact that a lot of players, even some very high stakes professionals on the live tournament circuit, mentioning no names, I'm sure some of you can think of some good examples for yourselves, but some of the very top tier players actually have extremely clear leaks in their mental game and quite massive tilt problems in fact. So of course while we know that it is theoretically possible to be a very good player and have big mental game leaks, we also all recognize that these are still profound leaks and you know, anybody who has them is going to be losing money as well as losing sleep over the poker that they're playing. And just as with any strategy leak, these things can be patched up, they can be solved now, a lot of people don't focus enough on their mental game, I think. They find, you know, there's a lot more material out there for how to improve your strategic understanding. And it's you know easier to start to get to grips with, really, than mental game and emotional stuff because it's, it's more a matter of, you know, studying these hardcore concepts, these definable things. I mean, emotion is something that even in scientific terms we have a hard time getting to grips with because it's so subjective and it's, it seems on the surface kind of vague and nebulous and difficult to pin down. I'd like as part of this video and as part of the work I do teaching mental game in general to suggest that this is not actually the case, that, the, that there are clear-cut things that we can do to understand our emotional reactions and to improve them in game. And that just as with any strategic leaks, we can notice, come to understand what we're doing and work on it, change it and improve it to the point that it, it's no longer a handicap or a leak in our game but it's actually a positive skill set that we possess and it's advantageous it's going to allow us to make more money and a better return on investment in our game and also to enjoy the game of poker a lot more so in this short video today i'd just like to go through a few key ideas about this to kind of get the ball rolling and, and you, you'll, you'll find that you know if, if you're already taking class with me one-to-one -one, you'll find that this is something which i i go through in, in a lot of detail with students who request it and I am planning to do quite a bit more work on these topics as well. Okay but for today I'd like to look over some of what I think is the most fundamental content of all on this topic. So first of all I'd like to hit you with this idea which I think is is a bit of a left field concept it's not something you often hear, hear said about tilt but I think that tilt is actually a huge opportunity. I think it's an exciting thing about the game that tilt exists and that we have these huge kind of spewy reactions sometimes. And there are a lot of kinds of tilt as well which is something perhaps we'll talk about another day but um, the, the classic form would be hard tilt where you know, we lose a big hand, we get a big bad beat and it, it boils our blood and we have some kind of negative reaction whether it's subtle or, or quite extreme and it goes on to affect the rest of our session negatively okay so why do I think tilt's an opportunity the main reason I think it's a fantastic opportunity is that whereas with most areas of poker when we're studying strategy when we're studying push fold math or we're studying game theory or we're studying position stack depth and all these other key concepts in strategy of tournament poker or any other form of poker it doesn't have a very direct applicability outside of poker the stuff that we learn when we're becoming better poker players it does have indirect connections to other things that we do in our lives but it doesn't carry over very smoothly or very simply and directly to a lot of other areas of our lives okay there are parallels but it's usually indirect and often kind of metaphorical parallels however with tilt and with emotional response everything we learn about being a better poker player in terms of our mental game carries over beautifully and seamlessly into the rest of our lives and it's actually a positive boon for everything else that we do in our lives for our relationships with other people for our relationships with our partners for our business con contracts business negotiations anything that we're doing with the rest of our professional lives um, and just for the overall quality of our lives any other 
endeavours we're undertaking going to benefit from the skills that we gain in not tilting or becoming free from tilt okay so i think this is an amazing opportunity it's it's great that there is an aspect of the game which we can work on we can improve at and which carries over so directly and so immediately to everything else in our life so i think that's a great thing okay so it's an opportunity to understand ourselves it's an opportunity to put our focus somewhere we can do work to learn where to place our focus in poker there's no point you know uh dwelling on the fact that if he only hadn't rivered me i would have a monster stack right now it's obviously a total waste of energy and effort to think like that but we do get into these thought habits and we you know we often don't consider that enough and consider the impact that has on our game okay so if we learn to refocus our attention on things that do matter like the next decision point and we learn how to let go of all that baggage emotional response it's going to have a huge benefit for the very next hands we play and it's an opportunity to become a happier, calmer person in the whole of our lives. Okay, so this is this is huge. It goes way beyond poker, in fact. So I just want to look a little bit, in summary, really, because you can talk about all of this stuff in more depth, um, at you know what I regard as the key steps in this process. I'm just going to look at three steps, really, in the process of getting rid of tilt, 